Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today, as you can see from the title of my video, I will be talking about drug abuse among youth. So, drug abuse happens when a person use legal or illegal substance in ways they shouldn't by taking more than the regular dose of drugs that is allowed. In Malaysia, drug abuse has become a serious social problem. It is estimated that currently, Malaysia suffers 70 new drug addicts daily, not weekly, not monthly, not even yearly, but daily. And in 2017, the National Anti-Drug Agency said out of 2,000 schools nationwide, students at 400 of the schools, mostly secondary, were involved in drugs. The students were mostly males aged between 14 to 16 years old. 14 to 16 years old, can you imagine? So, uh, why do they choose to take up drugs when they have much better things to do? Well, there are a few causes. One of them being curiosity. So, many teenagers begin experimenting with drugs simply because they are curious and want to know what it feels like. As teenagers, they think that they can handle things on their own. Even if they know that drugs are bad, they don't believe that anything bad can happen to them. Which is totally wrong because, hello, drug abuse shouldn't be taken lightly. Another cause of drug abuse among youth is peer influence. The term peer influence means the influence that peers can have on each other. So basically, your friends are your peers, and peer influence, co peer influence causes teenagers to do things with hopes of fitting in or being noticed, and of course, this can include drug abuse. Peer influence causes teenagers to do things with hopes of fitting in and being accepted in their social group. They are typically striving for social acceptance to the point that some of them are willing to engage in negative behaviors. There are a few ways a person can take drugs, including injection and inhalation. So the effects of the drug on the body can depend on how the drug is delivered. Now I'm going to talk about effects of drug abuse. So first of all, I'm sure all of us are familiar with this disease, which is HIV infection or AIDS. So transmission of HIV or AIDS occurs through exposure to body fluids of an, infect an infected person through sharing of unsterile drug injection equipment. So basically, this means uh, this is about the uh, sharing of needles between drug abusers. Now, the scary part is that the disease has a long inactivity period before the symptoms start to appear. And so, that is why it is likely many young adults with AIDS were actually infected with HIV as adolescents. The next effect of drug abuse is mental health on the mental health of someone. Drug abusing youth are at high risk for mental health problems including depression, personality disorders, and suicidal thoughts. For example, marijuana, which is widely used among youth, has been shown to interfere with short-term memory, learning, and also their psychomotor skills. So I guess that's pretty much it. That's all I would like to talk about on uh, drug abuse among youth. Now to conclude, um, no matter how stressed you are, don't ever resort to drug abuse. Never ever. Remember, abusing drugs will not help you solve your issues, but rather complicate them. 
there are many other ways to release your stress and um, the decision is yours to make so think carefully before you decide to do something so that you will regret it later in your life that is all for me thanks for watching bye